This is the casual way of showing you how I do my banker's boxes. I purchase them like this by the case full. I have labels that stick on them like these and I use index cards. I don't use the rules. So <clears throat> those were what I had so I'm using those. Sometimes I pre-label them like they are in this box and but today I'm going to create a new label so I can show you how the process goes. Of course you don't have to buy bankers boxes. These are actually file boxes and any box would do but you really need them to be kind of consistent so that they'll stack and you need them uh, to have a lid so that you can keep track. Now you could do this with plastic containers or anything that has a lid that you can stack and, and paste the uh, labels to. So all you do is, is open it up like this and then you just push the sides in. It's looking like this. After you push the sides in it just makes a self box and you do the same thing with the lid. You just fold it in until it's uh, the proper lid for the box. And two index cards which I'm going to write on now and then show you how I place them. Now in my other video when I talked about custom labels I showed you that I had one dance ER for the uh, fabrics that I was going to put in the box. So this is the box that I have made for those fabrics. <coughs> now I have labeled my index cards the way they showed in my custom field. So I'm starting a new box specifically for the fabric that I'm going to list on this uh, eBay ID. I'm going to place these inside these, uh, oops, got an extra one there, inside these uh, label holders. They're sticky on the back and I'm going to place them on, one on the lid of the box and one on the front of the box. I'll show you in just a minute. Back to making the custom field work for you. Now these are the fabric fat quarters that I showed you when I showed you how to use the custom fields. And I'm going to place it in the box. Now I have further identified that with lot nine. So I went back into my custom field where I had put the one dance ER and added to that lot nine. So now not only is my uh, label identifying the box, it's also identifying the different ones in the box because I have quite a few other of these um, fat quarters to list on eBay and to put into this box. So now I'm just simply going to, whoops, <laughs> sliding away from me. I'm just simply going to now add this to my box and when it sells, I'll just run to the box and dance, one dance ER and look inside and find lot nine and voila, I didn't have to search anything for it. So, happy days. Hope your custom label field works good for you. Remember, you can use anything you can label and the uh, poly labels and the cards and everything are really inexpensive to buy. So, happy non-searching all over all through your uh, merchandise to find a sold item. Bye-bye now. Here are some of my boxes that are full and that are pre-labeled. 